Good morning, everybody. First of all, I have to congratulate the University of Wollongong for this great brand ambassador. I don't have that. I will have to talk to uh, Oliver Kahn, maybe, and then I will have to speak to my CEO to give me a budget for that. A oh, great, great uh, idea, I have to say. Well, executive education, the cost of not doing it, I dare speak about it in dollars and cents or in euros and cents if this is still allowed. And I wonder why they asked me, coming from Germany, and putting me in this panel about costs. So we are tackling with this uh, issue in Germany and in Europe, as you know, quite heavily. Executive education has an impact. I think we all agree on that. Um, it is very difficult to evaluate uh, executive education, but we can look at it from the point of view of what does it cost us if we not do it. Executive education has imp impact required that the right content is delivered, that the candidate learns the content, and that the candidate applies the content in his job. So that is from the teacher, from the book, from the e-learning tool in the head of the executive, from the head in the hand of the executive. That is actually the challenge we are facing every day in business schools and you in your company as well. So we have to design the right products, we have to find the right methodologies to transport this, this uh, content in the head of the executive, and we have to make sure that the executive applies this in his daily job, got to change his behavior, and then it has an impact. We all believe that. If we wouldn't believe that, we wouldn't send our kids to school, because they go to school, they learn, and they get better. And that's where economy is based on, and what is right for kids must be right for executives as well. Why does it stop at 18? That doesn't make sense. What is the impact executive education has? You may improve business performance in your company. You ensure that you have a return on investment. You avoid damages and loss. You do a proper risk management. You make sure you do, you, that you do not miss opportunities. And of course, you motivate the candidate if you give them these chances to do executive education. But what happens if you do not do executive education. What are the costs? And I try to give you a couple of examples. What kinds of costs may be caused if you do not executive education? Failed investments is the first one. Investments must have a return on investment, but they may fail completely. The second one is you can, or you may uh, uh, cause severe damage in your company, which may lead to high losses if you do not educate your executives. And it's of course about missed opportunities. Business opportunities which cannot be turned into revenues may be considered as costs. And I'm giving you uh, three examples for that. And I was discussing these um, examples with some executive uh, HR manager from a very large corporate in Germany, from a bank actually, last week, and he was actually confirming exactly these three points. Let's look at leadership training. The case is you have 50 staff in a department with an annual salary of each 50,000 euros, which makes an annual investment of 2.5 million euros. The department head is without any leadership skills, is a model. That leads to demotivation of the whole crew because he does not know how to deal with his own constraints. He does not know how to deal with a, a team. He doesn't know about team building. He treats some people badly. People do work less. They stand uh, in the kitchen drinking coffee, smoking cig cigarettes, and complaining about the bad new boss may lead to an average decrease of work input of 30%. So, if you say 2.5 million euro investment minus 30%, that is a loss of 750,000 euros. That would be the cost if you do not educate this executive in leadership. Next example, you may cause damage. And we can tell a lot about that from a banking perspective. 
The case is asset-backed securities, a new product, are being invented in capital markets many years ago. That of a bank dealing room is not trained on these new products and the features. In particular, he does not know that a change trading leads to different risk capital provision. That confirms the purchase of ABS products from US Bank, we rated AAA. AAA. With a volume of 100 million euros, and that leads to a capital risk provision of 650,000 euros. Now the rating changes because the rating, the rating agency um, considers these asset backed security products as less value, of less value, and they reduce the, uh, um, the, the, the rating to triple B which then leads to a risk capital provision of 4.5 million euros. So the head would have to have 4.5 million euros as a capital provision, but he does not dispose of that money. And now the regulator says, you must sell these asset-backed securities because you cannot provide for the risk capital provision. And then he has to sell the products 20% below the price. And that makes, in the end, a damage of 20 million euros. Very simple. I'm going to scare you, hopefully. And of course, I want to make you buy our executive education programs. But this has happened very often in banking in the last couple of years. People were not well enough educated. And the regulators are now focusing on that, implementing new registers, let's say, for treasury people. They have to be educated, otherwise they cannot deal anymore. So this is a trend we are seeing, which is good for business schools. People have to come to us. But it's also good for the market, because it is a proper risk management. Well, in the third sample, it's a bit modelled. An engineer becomes the head of a business unit. The sales volume 2012 is 10 million. The growth target for him until 2015, 100 percent. 2030, 12 million, 15, 20 million. The real potential would be until 2015, sorry, 150 percent. 15 million in 2013. 20 million and 25 million in 2015. The department head is without business strategy skills. He is an engineer. He has developed the products. He knows the products from A to Z. But he does not know how to sell these products. You do not give him the right education. This may lead to incorrect market analysis and business planning and may also lead to a complete target fail. So you might have missed business opportunities between 17 and 30 million euros. It looks a bit modeled, but in your slide I have seen that the Boston Consulting Group thinks that executive educated, or, uh, executives who are educated in the proper way make 3.5% or 3.5 more growth and one third more revenues. I mean, this speaks for the sample actually. Well, just to give you uh, a bit of an idea, what may happen if you do not do executive education, it causes real costs. Thank you very much.